next step for this team? What do you think you all can do to build on that performance? Um, I just think um, staying confident, um, knowing what we did well, the re why we played so well, knowing those reasons and building off of that. Um, I think we just take it one game at a time, trying to figure out how do we win each game. And um, with that, um, if we keep winning, keep building great habits, um, we're going to keep getting better as a team. As a score, you know your return and you're you're shooting the ball more. You know how you know, diverse do you feel like this backcourt is now, and how do you feel like that helps you all going forward? Um, I think the biggest thing is that, um, we're, like I said, we're ball playing confident. Um, you know we're spending extra time in the gym. Um, we're knowing. We're trusting our training, um, and we're, we're veteran. We have a veteran backcourt outside of Ty Ty, but Ty Ty is as mature um, as he gets. You know, he plays the game at his own play, pace, um, and he's playing confident. But with us three, as Kellen, Davion, and myself, um, we kind of know what to expect in and out. Um, we don't really force anything. We know if it's our turn that we're going to be aggressive, um, but we also keep each other motivated, knowing, hey, man, um, go out there and play confident. Like, be you. Do what you do. Um, and we're playing unselfish. Um, when you got guys who are playing unselfish and willing to play for each other, it's hard to just focus in on one player. Um, and that's what's kind of like allowing for multiple people to have really big games um, at the same time. Dick Gabriel, we'll come to you. Yes, Amir, what was it like for you to have to sit, number one? I'm sure you haven't sat that long in a while. And number two, what did you learn that may have helped you when you step back on the court, just as an observer? Um, <clears throat> I, I mean, I think I don't really think I learned <clears throat> anything per se, but um, I was. It was great to see how much confidence that those guys were playing with. Um, we were playing loose, um, you know, playing off, you know, Ty Ty, Oscar, Kellen, Keon, um, Davion, their success, even Jacob. He had a pretty good game at LSU. Um, guys are on a high. And guys are playing confident. They're playing for each other. They're playing loose. Um, and when I came back, I just I didn't want to interrupt that at all since guys were in a rhythm. I just came back, you know, um, making sure everybody's good, keeping everybody happy, moving the ball, being unselfish. And when I had my opportunities, um, I, I took them. But um, we're playing playing really well right now. And um, I'm here so we, we can kind of stay on that. Um, keeping these guys motivated, keeping them loose, um, keeping them, you know, focused on that main goal. Like, hey, we're not done. You know, just because we want to gain this and it's not over, we have higher expectations of, you know, winning the whole thing. So, um, keeping us focused on that and keep keeping it or taking it game by game. Jerry Tipton, we'll come to you next. Hey, yes, I'm here. Uh, Coach Flint was telling us a moment ago that. Uh, players are kind of coaching themselves to a degree and he mentioned you by name i'm wondering what are the do's and don'ts of uh you know instructing a teammate if that's the right word or dealing with an opponent a, a teammate trying to make it better yeah i mean for every per for every player every person is different um not everyone responds to um criticism or um, you know, constructive feedback or even praise the same. You got to know what gets um, different people going. And um, I think that's the biggest thing. I think the biggest thing that's helped me is, is the fact that I'm the oldest of of, uh, of six kids my parents had. So I kind of had a lot of practice growing up trying to get these guys to, hey, don't tell me if I, you know, took the last bit of juice, don't tell dad. Or, hey, come on, get up, let's go work out. You know, this can be really good for you. So having, you know, 15, you know, to 17 plus years of that extra, of that, you know, just at home every day has helped me to be able to come to college or wherever set I am and kind of, you know, get people to buy into like a common goal or even, you know, be able to help hold people accountable without them taking it the wrong way, knowing that I have the best interest for them. And just as a follow, what sort of things do you look for as to tell you, you know, what the instruction or the help you're trying to provide, how it's being received? I mean, is it smiles, frowns, cussing? What, what sort of things is 
Um, I mean, most of the time I do it with a smile. I mean, most of the time I start off with, hey, you're doing this right, but here, you can do this to, to make sure, or watch out for this, because you're doing everything else right, just add this to it. Um, but for, if I'm motivating someone, usually I go with, hey, man, you know, you're the best player on the court right now. Keep going. Keep running. Um, man, you're doing some great stuff. Like, I'm, I'm coming back to you. So uh, that kind of stuff is just, you know, the basic stuff that, you know, you don't have to say a lot, but it goes a long way knowing that, um, it kind of registered to a player like, hey, he cares for me. He sees what I'm doing, so I'm, I'm gonna keep going, going hard for him and, and for the team. I know you're supposed to take one game at a time, and they're not supposed to have any more importance. But for you to go back so close to home to maybe a program that you've seen, you know, what does that mean to you uh, when you get a chance to do that? Um, uh, like you said, uh, it's you know every team is the same. Um, I think I just get more excited knowing the fact that I am in Texas and I am going to see my family. Um, you know, the, the mission is still the same, going there and win the game. Um, but definitely I'm, I'm a little happier knowing that I'm going to Texas and I'm going to see my parents before the game. Um, after the game, get to see my friends, my all my siblings. So uh, it's definitely something extra there. But as far as the game, you know, I'm going in there and do whatever I can to help the team win. On those same lines, Savir, obviously you were committed to him for a while in high school under the previous staff. What are you telling guys about the environment, what to expect in terms of, you know, hostile road crowd tomorrow? I mean, I think we can expect the same thing we, we expect every time we go on the road. I mean, we're Kentucky. Um, I'm expecting it's going to be a sellout crowd. It's going to be super, super loud. Um, but, you know, we've had some tests before. You know, we've finally got our first row wins, so I think we know on what to expect and what it's going to take for us to win down there. Jerry Tipton, we'll circle back to you. Yes, I mean, there's something I meant to ask you and just forgot earlier. How did, how did you feel about not playing against Georgia? I didn't, I didn't have any feelings um, toward it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Graves, go ahead. So, Gary, where do you see Ty Ty really becoming uh, more assertive in his game, or, or, or and how did that develop in your eyes? Um, I think we've been wanting Ty Ty to be to be like this um, for a minute. Um, you know, I think him is just being more comfortable, more confident. Um, this is this stuff is um, what he's doing now is not new to us. That's why it's not you know a big thing, because um, we've seen what he's capable of all through the summer, all through practice, and um, now he's just finding his stride. Not everyone you know blossoms the first time they get on the court. It takes some time, takes a minute, um, and now he's finally getting. He's hit his stride. He's playing super confident, and um, he knows that we need that from him. We, he knows that we want that from him. Like go ahead, bro. You have the to the green light because he plays so unselfish. It's not like he's going to become a black hole and, um, you know, he's not going to pass. He's not going to look for others. Um, he naturally is, is, is unselfish. He naturally just wants to win. And um, with that, you know, he's, he's, he's skilled. He's capable as a scorer, as a playmaker, and we want that from him. As a follow-up, what, what kind of um, input do you guys offer each other that you feel like has benefited each of your games? Yeah, um, for me... Um, especially, you know, when I'm not in the game or, um, you know, he has the ball sometimes, I tell him, like, yo, if the defense is doing this, you know, on the ball screen coverage, man, attack it, stay with it. Or, you know, if, if he's there, watch him, you know, rotating down from the weak side, you'll have the corner pass, you'll have Oscar on the roll. So uh, different things like that from my vantage point that I can help him with. And um, to me, he just be like, yo, give me the ball. I'm like, all right, bro, I got you. <laughs> Uh, he was just like, "What's up? Um, you know, get healthy and along along those lines." Um, I mean, I wasn't it wasn't necessarily awkward, but he did grab my neck. <laughs> it made me uncomfortable a little bit, but uh, you know, it, it was nothing nothing you know, out of the regular. Just asking how I was doing and telling me to get healthy. <laughs> 